Looking at uh, rules for making hiring decisions, what we kind of look at, just like in Unit 3, the theory of the firm we dealt with when marginal cost equals marginal revenue, that's where you maximize profits. It's very similar in the factor market, except we use the terms VMP equals MRC. Recall that MRC is marginal resource cost, which is the same thing as wages when we're talking about laborers, and VMP is the value of marginal product, which is calculated as MPP times price. So general rule is you hire more as long as VMP equals MRC or you hire more when there's VMP is greater than MRC and you hire less labor capital or land as long as VMP is less than marginal resource cost. Because what you're saying if you're going to hire less is, well, I'm going to hire a worker at $10, but they only, I only make money as the entrepreneur. Uh, their value of the marginal product, let's say, is $5. So if they cost me 10 but they only make me 5, I lose profit as the entrepreneur and I have to pay out of my pocket for that last worker, so I hire less when VMP is less than MRC. Now here's a chart that looks at labor, workers per day, quantity of widgets per day, that's the product, MPP, product price, total revenue, VMP, and MRC. So I'm going to try to go slow so you can pause at any point to try to figure out um, the rest of this. So to calculate marginal physical product, what we would do is, what we're saying is, well, when we added one additional worker, what's the value in units or quantity that they help produce? So we use the kind of formula looking at total quantity. So marginal physical product is 10. And again, at any point you can pause it to try to solve the rest of this column. So there's what the rest of the MPP column would look like, 10, 15, 10, and 5. So we notice that we have increasing returns over the first two units of labor, and then we have diminishing or decreasing returns over the third and fourth units of labor. So looking at product price, we're not going to discriminate, so we're going to say that the product price is always simply $5. I'm going to put 5 in. Now total revenue equals price times quantity. So if you want to take a guess and try to fill out the chart, go ahead and hit pause now. So there's my total revenue column. And my total revenue is just saying, how much money does the company gain in total from selling the quantity per day, the quantity times the product price? So again, that's P times Q. Now, looking at VMP, the next column, there's a couple ways we can do this, depending on what you're given. If you're given total revenue, you can simply just kind of measure, well, what's the change in total revenue? So what's the value of the first unit of labor? We look at total revenue. The other way you might have to figure it out is it's MPP times price. So sure enough, for the first worker, we notice, well, 50 minus 0 is 50, and MPP times price would also give us 50. So I'm going to draw in 50 here and go ahead and hit pause and try to solve the rest of this column. And there's the rest there. Now, usually then they'll give you the wage or they'll give you the marginal resource cost. And again, we're not going to discriminate and hire each worker at different prices. Instead, we're just going to hire all workers at the same wage or the same MRC. So let's say that the marginal resource cost for all of these units of labor is $50. Now, remember the hiring decision of you hire when VMP equals MRC. But you're going to notice very quickly, well, that's going to happen twice. So which one do we decide? And here's kind of how you'd work down the rules. So would I hire the first worker? Yes, because the value they produce is the same as what they cost me. So I'd hire the first worker. Then you'd work your way down and say, well, would I hire the second worker? Well, yes, because they bring in 75 for the company, and they only cost the company 50 So the entrepreneur is left with $25 worth of profit, which is better than what this was above. So this would be zero dollars of profit. This would be 25 total dollars in profit. Then would I hire the third worker? Well, yes, because they, their value to me as the company is $50. They cost the company $50. So I would hire that worker because I don't lose or gain anything. And then would I hire the fourth worker? No, because the value to the company is $25, but they cost the company 50, so I'd lose out on profit of $25 for that marginal profit. So the correct answer with how many, you know, when they ask the question, how many workers would you hire, you would say three because that's where it maximizes profit 
and that's where VMP equals MRC.